Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is my first video upload. Hi, I'm Lucy. So in this channel, we're just going to go through different preparation for tests, competitions, and that kind of things. So I really hope you enjoy this channel. And if you find this video really helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'll probably upload video every twice a week or maybe once a week. So we'll think we'll figure out that in later. But um, I promise you guys that I'll do as uh, I'll do the best that I can to upload video on time. Um, so today our topic is how to prepare for brain B competition. So by the title, you might already know that, you know, you probably are interested in brain or just you're interested in science so that this or psychology um this competition is going to be the right fit for you so for brain b it's really easy to prepare it's not like other competitions so you have to spend a lot of time on doing problems and doing questions such as, like that um for brain b all you gotta do is just to read over the brain facts which is the book so i'll share my screen right here so this is brain facts so brain facts is just a book that released by brainfacts.org and then like it's basically just the book that you have to read through in order to do the competition so all of the things are based on this book for the first round so there's different rounds right so there's first round second round and the last you go to international brain b so for brain facts you definitely have to read through at least twice in order to get everything you have to do um and so brain fact it's not hard so for if you don't have any basic or any knowledge about brains and psychology that kind of stuff it's all right because brain b is you know competition for everyone so even though you didn't study science or just neuroscience before you're completely okay so just read through it twice take some notes um, my suggestion is to focus on the disorders part. So here, I'll go through the chapters with you. So there's different parts, right? So you should definitely go through this part. This part is like at least three times, I guess, because this part is really important. Um, it actually it's the most important part to understand brain so it's the foundation to understand brain uh second it's sensing thinking and behavior so this part is not that important but you should definitely know the knowledge too because um this part is really important in the you know second round or international uh, brain b so this part you can just read over twice but my suggestion is to take some notes too well part three across the lifespan here i don't really suggest you to spend too much time on these because they won't actually get to this too detailly um you can just read over it like once or twice and then just take some notes you don't have to actually pay attention too much on the chapter eight which is aging here i'll i'll send a link of where you can download brain facts so that you can download it your version might be different with mine but it's pretty much the same um and here kinds of research you don't have to pay attention to the animal research part you just have to know different technologies that we identify brain uh, identify disorders such as like PET, EEG, that kind of things. It's basically just imaging technology. So the main part that I'm like I think you guys should spend more time on is part five, which is diseases and disorders. So uh, you know these are just different disorders, and it's really important for brain B because they focus a lot on the brain disorders so i think you might 
need to probably read over three times. I created a table, a matrix for these disorders, like including the symptoms, cause, and the treatments. I'll put that um, PDF down in the link or just a PDF so that you guys can download it. And it, I hope it helps you to review these um, diseases and disorders. It's really important. I strongly recommend you to read at least three times for this part and take detailed notes. Um, yeah. And the last part is treating brain disorders. This part, I don't think you have to spend too much time on it. Basically, just read over twice and then, you know, have some knowledge in your mind, uh, take some notes, then that's all. So basically, the main part is disease and disorders and then the introduction to the brain. So next, we have glossary. Glossary is so important. So I'll show you what glossary is. So glossary, you guys might already know, it's just like, it looks like this. So you have the words and they have the definition and the meaning, like how, like what is it and what's the function, that kind of things. It's so important. You have to remember at least most of them because, uh, you know, bring B is just a competition about knowledge. It's not about like doing problems and that kind of stuff. So it's important to know some basics about these kind of things. I made a quiz list about this and I'll put the link down too. So like you can check it out later. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. Um, and also there's different videos that I find helpful. I'll put those link too. So as you go over it and read through it, if you have some problem, just click on the brain, uh, just click on the link. Um, they have like, so I find one of the video from Bozeman Science really, really helpful. So I'll put that down in the link. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in like me, probably like explaining the problems or explaining just like everything or anything, like maybe just to kind of go over it with you guys or something, please uh, leave a comment about that. I would love to do that. Um, and yeah, that's basically just about the brain beat. See you next time. Remember to subscribe if you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. See ya.